So this is the first part of the Gorilla Perfumes events. This part's called Set in Stone. I'm one of the perfumers for Gorilla Perfumes. All the perfumes you'll smell here, I created with help from, well, it's not really help, but Dad's stepped in every now and then, yeah. First, I'm gonna talk you through each stone, which you've all worked out smell, um, and you're gonna smelt some really interesting fragrances, I hope. And it's really inspired by a visit to Stonehenge. It was my 30th birthday, um, just before Christmas, the 22nd of December, if you're making notes. <laughs> um, and it just so happened that that was the winter solstice. And Matt said, would, would you like to go to the Stonehenge? And I was like, well, I've never been. I, I don't really know much about all that, but it'd be great. I'm, you know, it sounds like something odd. And we literally arrived at Stonehenge just as the sun rose. And it was there I saw people, they had big sprigs of um, rosemary and they were burning them and, and walking around. And, and it just was, it was intriguing to see how people were using Stonehenge. And it kind of really sparked an interest in me in, in stone circles. And I said this to Matt and he's like, well, you know, there's loads of stone circles in Dorset. Matt said, well, I'll, I'll take you to them. And so then I was looking to basically celebrate the fact that England is a, a, has beautiful countryside. We've always lived with nature. Um, and the people who did these stone circles did the same. They were manipulating the environment. They were becoming farmers. They were um, really interested in interacting with nature, a bit like we are at Lush. How do we work with nature using natural materials, but manipulating those materials? And so um, I started to take inspiration from plants and, and things that you'd find there. So kind of unusual plants, they're very, very common, but the smells are unusual. You wouldn't associate them with Britain. So we've got gorse here, which is actually called furs. Furs is um, the old English word for gorse. For people who don't know what gorse is, it's this prickly bush here that, and I can contest to this, if you fall off your bike into that, it really hurts. <laughs> it smells like vanilla and coconut. And it's a really odd thing because in the middle of winter, when you get the yellow flowers come out, it's one of the only plants that are flowering in the middle of winter in Britain. And yeah, so that's really the, the premise behind the whole show. This is basically a place for you to do exactly this. Come and sit down, um, smell the stones. We're gonna enjoy the music in a moment. Um, it's just really to be in the English countryside and a part of it and just have that time to uh, reflect. Outside, um, lots, of, lots of green. It's really, really beautiful. It smells so natural, you know, it doesn't smell like stone. It's so cool because naturally you put the perfume on your skin, and we always say like the skin is the last ingredient, and so it's really cool that the stone is like skin here, perfectly uh, absorbing the perfume. And actually, just when you come, when you stay there, stand there, you, you get like the whole scent, I think, of all the stones together, really merging together, it's amazing. The music is so loud and it's just going straight in, the vibrations are just going straight in and the... This is the powerful thing about fragrance, I think, that it can access memories and, and can kind of cause emotions without you really expecting it. So. It's always just really um, humbling, really, when somebody has that effect. Um, and that's why we, we take it quite seriously, the creativity and the impact that that can have. And the music was really special. Um, it was really nice. To, that was the first time I've heard it performed live and it, it, as it's meant to in the Stone Circle. When um, Simon Constantine told us about how the installation would work and the seven stones, we got quite excited because, um, you know, there, there, there's something obviously enduring about the stones and about the idea of a circle. Uh, we wanted to create a suite of six spoke movements inspired by uh, the fragrance. So what's going to happen with the installation is that each stone obviously re represents a particular fragrance and each stone will also have one of these speakers playing the music that is uh, germane to that stone. And what you will also get as you go around is uh, 
a kind of like a, a, a sweet or not or a bit of spot where the, the, the sounds from the other the, the, the other stones and fragrances will blend. Sometimes it will be actually it will work extremely well through happen chance and serendipity, and other times it will be maybe a little bit discordant, a little, uh, uncomfortable. And that was also deliberate because obviously fragrances, some of them are complementary and sometimes they're not. So we wanted to also uh, reflect that. I mean, you know, the way the installation is, it's lovely and it's, uh, it's, it seems uh, very lush. <laughs> That all of those pieces were commissioned, you know, exclusively for this, um, composed around the perfume. So it's this constant sort of relationship as well between the music and the perfume, and the perfume and the music. Which ones will come out? We don't know yet. Um, I would imagine that furs will, because the whole place smells wonderfully of it. Um, I would imagine that uh, things like Lord of Goldthorn will remain in the background. <laughs> but who knows? You never know. Everyone will tell us, no doubt, what they think's best and what they'd like to see in the shops. From the original idea, which you know, there was a lot of concern, it was a bit spinal tap. Uh, you know, the original idea to this, you know, it's just from the sublime to the wonderful. You know, what I mean, it's just just fabulous. No, I, I, many of the people here have been saying to me that it's been the best lush moment. In fact, uh, the manager of Coventry, who's been here for 11 years, said this was her favourite ever lush moment. <laughs>